Hey everyone, Trey with Veris Technologies here. Wanted to go over a quick feature with you real quick that we recently learned about that I'm sure most of you have already known, but according to the forums, a lot of people don't uh, know exists yet. So we're in the Unify controller today. We're on 5.7.23. And what we're going to look at is the topology maps. So let's jump in and I'll show you what we've got and how we utilized it. So you can see, uh, first off, we just have a, this is our basic test site. Um, we have a USG, we have a, a eight port PoE switch, and we have a APLR. And if you look at the clients area, I've, we've got a couple of laptops plugged in, a Raspberry Pi plugged in, and also have my cell phone connected to the wireless network. So this is all familiar stuff and, you know, normal day-to-day -day management, we use these screens. So on the maps, we're all used to seeing the maps that we have for um, our customer sites. And we can even go over and click on the topology to show how things are physically connected, which is beneficial. And I'm sure you all know the coverage maps that you can kind of tweak and their estimates um, on range and things. But over here in the top left, if you change the drop down to topology, now we get a whole different map and a whole different screen. I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit here to make it a little easier for us to see. Um, and, and this is kind of the default map. And it again shows the physical connections of everything. Um, but here's where it gets kind of fun. If you go up top here and click on show clients, it'll show you all the clients and where they are and how they're plugged in. So. You can see the Raspberry Pi, and I'm hoping it's coming through on the video, but there's an animation that shows you the path that things take. Uh, so here's my cell phone, wireless connection, then physically connected to the switch, and out through the USG. Um, now here is another great part of it. If you enable the link labels, now take a look at how much detail we've got. We've It shows what ports things are connected to. so. Uh, port 1 on the USG, or I'm sorry, port 1 on the switch is what the USG is plugged into. Um, port 2, and this is where it gets kind of tricky, and I'll explain why this shows up here in just a second. This is showing both the Raspberry Pi and this laptop plugged into port 2, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it will. And then this other laptop plugged into port 3. Uh, but also, if you'll notice up here for the wireless device, it's showing you which wireless network it's connected to, which SSID. That's beneficial if you have multiple wireless networks so that you can see which device is connected to which one right here on a map. So you could see that this, with or without the labels, makes a, a very nice um, network layout map. You don't really have to go through and label the ports on the devices of this computer's plugged into this port and this device is plugged into this port. You could just come to the topology map and it's all right there. Now, let's talk about real quick why these are both showing up as number two, uh, port number two on the switch. And the reason is because I plugged in a dumb Netgear switch in uh, to the mix here and then plugged the Raspberry Pi and that laptop into that network switch. So as far as Unify is concerned, they're coming into port number two. Um, this is a good reason why you should deploy in a Unify environment, all Unify gear, um, so that you get a true accurate representation of exactly what is in exactly what ports. Now I know some people are going to say, well we've got the small office uh, off to the side with a few devices and it's easy, I can just run down the street and buy a $49 switch or a $29 switch and get that printer and two computers connected. Well we would make the argument that a few dollars more gives you a 100% complete and accurate picture of what's going into what devices so that you can track things back properly. We've shown up many times to clients not knowing that there are switches under desks that have multiple things plugged in. And so if you go through and you deploy all Unify gear, then you eliminate the need for, or not the need, but you eliminate that, that variable of not knowing. Um, so, how do we use this other than just, oh, it's a pretty picture? 
Well, I'm going to fire up my iPad here and show you if I can get it to fit on the screen correctly. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm going to show you how I used it yesterday. We did a church deployment, and just to show you, this is my iPad. There's my iPad, and I'm pulling it up in Chrome um, specifically because you don't have access to this through the iOS app. Um, it's only available in the browsers right now. Um, and so I used this on my iPad, and I pulled up the map and topology map, and I enabled the client's capability and the link labels, which here I'm going to show you a little. It does have collapse capability, so if you touch a device, like I'm going to touch the um, access point, it hides what's connected downstream from it. So if you touch the switch, it hides what's connected downstream from it. Um, we did a deployment yesterday that was a USG Pro, um, four switches, and eight access points. So you can imagine once we flush out there all 30 wireless clients and 20 computers and uh, I think 15 phones or so, it gets really messy. Now it looks very good, um, zoomed out, looks like a family tree. Um, but it is helpful for navigating to be able to hide some things. So that's a great tool. So here's how I used this yesterday. Let's say I, um, I went into the sales office and I wanted to provide some specifics. I mean, what is TDOG93? Well, that's my laptop. So I go in and I look and I see what's plugged into that port. Again, port, there's a double port number two here, but let's pretend like it's uh, accurate numbers. Uh, you could just touch on the device bring up the configuration for it, give it a quick alias, save it, and now you can see how quickly you can come through and identify devices, and if you identify them properly, let's check out my iPhone. I happen to know that that's mine. Now, when you look at the overall picture of the map, if someone ever has any issues or you have to do any troubleshooting or when someone moves from an office down the hall to a different port, you don't have to worry about the port labels. We traditionally have been labeling ports so that we could do remote troubleshooting easily. This eliminates the need for that. We still find it helpful to um, name ports for specific unified devices just as we're troubleshooting and going through the list. We don't have to reference this. But when it comes to your client devices and trying to name those uh, on the switch ports, this eliminates the need for that. Uh, so that's a quick overview of the topology maps within Unify 5.7.23. I'm, I'm pretty sure that came out last year. I'm not sure what uh, when it came out, but if you go poke around the forums, you will see people are still surprised to find it there. So um, hope you enjoy the feature. And thanks a lot for watching, and stay tuned for more Unify videos. Thanks a lot, and have a good evening.